Hello, all. Welcome to Long Beach State APE. We have a very spooktacular activity tonight. We have Coach Chris and Coach Kimberly. Hope everyone is ready to work hard. Let's begin. Happy Thursday, everybody. Can you see my screen? Give me a thumbs up or holler at me. Yes. All right. Welcome to lab. We've got a very spooky autumn themed lesson for you today. I'm Coach Chris. This is Coach Kim. And here we go. <laughs> Let's get an idea what we're going to do today. I'm going to lead you through a warm up where we're going to go to a virtual haunted house. Then Coach Kim is going to take you to a virtual pumpkin patch where we're going to learn a dance. And then I'll take you out of here with some cool down stretching that is autumn themed. In keeping with the autumn spirit, let's think about some expectations for today. Let's think about our season, the fall season. Everybody, let's have fun. Most important, give it your all. Even if you're not into it, be open to learning something new. And always listen to your coach. So let's get started. Let's go check out our haunted house. Oh, we're walking into our first room. And we see Dracula sleeping in his coffin. We're gonna have to tiptoe past Dracula so that we don't wake him up. So we're gonna tiptoe past Dracula. If you're seated, lift your arms in the motion of a tiptoe. Let's keep it quiet so we don't wake him up. Nice, Carlos. I like the tiptoe. Good job, Jeremy. Brittany, I like your pace. Nice, quiet tiptoeing. Good job, Kendra and Kiko. Anita, I like your mask and I like the way you're tiptoeing. Ooh, okay, nice tiptoeing. We're walking into our next room. There's Frankenstein. All right. Now Frankenstein, he's a scary monster, but he's not the smartest. So if we can walk like Frankenstein through the room, we won't put him onto us and have him chase us down. So let's start walking like Frankenstein. Go ahead, walk like Frankenstein so he doesn't catch on to you. And if you're seated, raise your hands up like those feet. Ooh, I, Kiko, I like the way you're traveling around the room like Frankenstein, that looks really good. Nice job, Anthony. Hey, Zach, keep working on that Frankenstein movement. Yeah, good job. Yuri, I like it. Coach, I can see you lifting your feet. Looks good. Got the good Frankenstein walk going right now. I like it, Cecilia and Sergio. You guys are looking good out there. Nice work, everybody. Ooh, we're walking to our next room. You recognize that character? Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. He's got some slimy pumpkins. He's gonna throw at us. Let's slide to the side so we can stay away from those slimy pumpkins. Slide to your left, slide to your right. And if you're seated, slide with your arms. Let's go, let's stay away from those slimy pumpkins. Nice job, Sierra, sliding. I can see you sliding back and forth, watching out. Watching out for those pumpkins. Good job, Jeremy. Nice sliding, Yuri. 
Brittany, you got some good sliding going on there with the arms. All right, Zach, are you sliding right now or are you twirling around in circles? We need you sliding, buddy. I'm twirling. We're into our next room here. We see some scary spiders on a cobweb. They're trying to come down from the ceiling and crawl all over us. We're going to have to get these spiders off. We're going to need to shake, shake those spiders off, shake them off. Uh, I'm seeing some really good shaking right now. Shake, shake, shake those spiders off. Nice job, Morgan. Zach, let me see you make that shake and shake and bake, shake and shake, shake it off, shake those spiders off. Nice job, Yuri and Jeremy. Brittany's got some good shaking going on. Kendra's got some good shaking. Jennifer, she's got her ponytail shaking. She's shaking off the spiders. All right, great shaking. All those spiders are gone. We're walking into our next room here and we see a scary black cat. When we see a black cat, you don't wanna cross paths with that black cat. We are gonna start jogging away from that black, black cat. I like black cats. Well, why don't you show me how you can jog? All right. I Let's like see. black cats. You like black cats? I do too. I know that black cats like to jog, so let me see you jog like a black cat. Show me how you jog like a black cat. There we go, Aikiko's got it. She's using the whole room right now. She's dodging those black cats. Kendra's moving, moving around too. She's got some mo nice movements going on with the jogging. Anthony, I like the arms, good pumping of the arms. Nice jogging, everybody. Ooh, this is our next room and there's a scary witch on her broom. We're gonna have to jump up super high. We're gonna have to jump up over this witch if we're gonna stay away from her. We're gonna do some jumps. So let's get it going. If you're seated, raise the hands up high, super high, get up over that witch. Nice, Yuri. Nice extension of the arms up and over the head. Aikiko's got some good jumps. She's making a nice jump there. I see Coach jumping too. Nice job, Coach. Jose's got some got some nice reaches above the head right now. Mr. Paterno's looking good out there. Great nice jumping. Job, Morgan. I'm going to turn it over to Coach Kim now. Hi, guys. How you doing? I hope you're all nice and warmed up and ready to make our adventure to the pumpkin patch. So there's a couple of things we're going to need before we make our adventures on our way down to the pumpkin patch. We're going to need a map. We need to make sure we know where to go. We're going to need two scarves, ribbons, or hand towels. I have two little hand towels here that I grabbed, and we'll, I'll give you some time to go grab those in just a moment and a clear open space, because we want to make sure we have a safe space to practice the movements that we're going to be doing as we travel down to the pumpkin patch. So here's our map. We're going to start at the starting line, which here with the black crow and the mouse, and then we're going to travel down toward the cornfields and then go up to the pumpkin patch. All right, so next slide. So first we're going to need to get two scarves, ribbons, or hand towels. I just grabbed two hand towels, little dish rags from um, the kitchen. And I'm gonna give you guys, go to the next slide. I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds to go get two scarves, ribbons, or hand towels somewhere from the kitchen or maybe the bathroom. And if you get back in time, I want you to make a really scary face. Ready, set, go. <laughs> All right, so if you get your two rags or your two hand towels and you get back in time, I want you to try to make the scariest 
Halloween face, like, grrr. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see some scary Halloween faces in the screens right now. Can you guys make a scary Halloween face? Oh, Zach's got some scary Halloween faces going. He's using the, um, he's using some extra digital technology here. Oh, Anita's got a scary face going right now. Grrr. All right. Timer is up. So everybody's got their two hand towels, right? Or two, two scarves or two ribbons to use. So next we're gonna need a clear open space. So we have our clear open space, which is in probably you're in a room of some sort and you wanna make sure that there's no tripping hazards around you. Um, go to the next slide. So we have our general space. Here's my general space. You guys can see I've got I've got a nice open space where I'm, that I'm going to be using. That's my general space. And then go to the next slide. And then we have our own personal space. So everybody has their own personal space. It's like a bubble that surrounds you. And you don't want to necessarily have your bubble pop into somebody else's bubble and burst it. So what we're going to do is we are going to practice visualizing our own personal space. So here we go. See these two dancers here? They're both staying in their personal space. They're not bumping into each other. They're dancing and having a good time and they're keeping their distance so that they're not bumping into each other. So we're gonna practice right now on the next slide. And when I say go, we're gonna visualize a clear open space and we're gonna create a bubble around our bodies. You can move and extend your arms out. When I say go, I'd like you to create a bubble around you. And I'd like to make sure that when you create that bubble that you're not bumping into any objects that maybe are in your room or maybe uh, a person or um, some furniture. And so let's start the timer and practice um, visualizing our clear open space, creating that nice bubble around us. So if you want, you can stand up, extend your arms out, you can travel around the room and make sure you're not bumping into anything, maintaining that nice bubble around you, creating that nice personal space. Nice, I'm seeing a lot. Zach, let me see you practice your personal space. You still got that scary face going. Good job, buddy. All right. <laughs> All right, time's up. We're going to go to the next slide. All right, so before we start the movements, we're going to learn a, a very simple uh, ribbon dance using our hand towels or scarves or uh, ribbons that you grabbed. And basically, we're going to be crisscrossing, meaning the arms are going to cross over the head and extend back out and cross over the head and extend back out. And you can do this standing or seated. We're going to practice it for 30 seconds to the Monster Mash song. So go to the next slide. All right, so everyone get into a standing or seated position and we're gonna start. Here we go, crossing over, crisscrossing the ribbons overhead. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't hear the music. I can't hear it either, but. We're keep going for 30 seconds. We're practicing crisscrossing over. There we go. Crisscrossing over. All right, good job. Here we go. All right, so listen up. We're gonna practice crisscrossing our arms under. It's a mouse. It's a mouse. We wanna, we're going through the cornfields right now trying to get to the pumpkin patch. And there's a ton of mice on the ground and mice like to come out and they like to scurry on your feet. So you wanna to try to keep the mice from getting on your feet. So we're gonna practice crisscrossing under, scaring away the mice. So when you guys ready, we're gonna start for 30 seconds practicing crisscrossing under, scaring the mice away. Ready, set, go. Get away, mice. Here we go. We're crisscrossing under. Zach, then make sure you crisscross under them. Crisscrossing under. We want to scare those mice away. Crisscrossing under. 
crisscrossing under, scaring the mice away. All right, good job. I'm not sure why the music's not playing, but we'll keep um, pressing on here. All right, we got past the black crows. We scared away the black crows and we scared away the field mice. And now we have to go through the corn maze. And guess what? A mummy wants our ribbons and scarves. He eyed our ribbons and scarves. So we've got to confuse the mummy. So we're going to practice bringing one arm up and one arm down and then alternating one arm up, one down, and we're going to turn to our right. So when I say go, we're going to practice this. But before we start, I want to go over what way is turning right. So I want you to hold your hands up to the screen, making an L shape with your thumb extended and your um, index finger extended up like L's. And then whichever hand is making the L, when you see a capital L, that's your left hand. So then your right hand is the opposite, opposite way. So we're gonna practice going one up, one down, turning to our right. So we'll go to the next slide and press. And ready, set, go. So we're extending one up, one down, and we're turning to our right. Extending one arm up, one arm down, and then alternating, going to the right side. Look at my pumpkin. <laughs> Ooh, I like pumpkins. Okay, great job, everyone. Practicing going up and down and turning to your right. Guess what? The mummy is still following us. So we got to turn to the left now. We got to confuse the mummy. So we're going to practice going to your left. So ready, set, going to the next slide. We're going to turn to our left. Ready, go. So turning to our left. I'm tired. So we're turning the opposite direction, going up and down. Practicing. Zach, let me see you turn one up, one down, and turn left. Let me see those scarves. Good job. All right. Okay, so we confused the mummy and we were able to get out of the maze. So now it's time to get to the scarecrow and get past into the pumpkin patch. And guess what? We got to put all those movements together. So go to the next slide. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice crisscrossing over four times. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to crisscross under one, two, three, four, and then we're going to go to the right. Up and down, one up, one down, turning right, doing two full circles to the right. And then we're gonna do two full circles to the left. And then after we finish going two full circles to the left, one up, one down, then it's just freestyle. You can kind of do whatever you'd like to do. All right, so we're gonna practice this. We're gonna go into- it's really, I'm tired. You're tired? All right, well, guess what? When you exercise, you get more energy. You get that blood and energy going. Oxygen going in your body will give you some energy. All right, so let's go to the next slide here. We're gonna practice doing the monster mash. We're gonna go four overhand, crisscrossing over. We're gonna do four crisscrossing under, and then we're gonna go one up, one down to the right, circling two times, and I'll call it out, and we'll go one up, one down, circling to the left two times. Are you guys ready? All right, I hope the music plays. Let's see. I can hear it, just barely. The volume up. There we go. All right, let's practice, ready? We, Kimberly, yes. we don't hear it. Did you push the little button on the left when it said share screen, like share sound? Are, are we having an issue hearing sound? Yeah. 
Oh, Lord, it's uh, super loud in my place. Uh, what button are we talking about? So unshare your screen, share it again. But before you, I guess you share it, there's a little button on the left that says share audio. On the, on the Zoom or on the Google side? Yeah, on Zoom. So green button, then the small button on the left, and then blue button. Hold on one sec here. Hold on, here we go. Um, all right, uh, on here, where are we talking on this bar? No, no, before you hit the blue button. So green button, little button on the left that says share audio, and then blue button. I, I I don't see it. Okay, that's fine. Just roll without the music. You're good. All right. Okay. So we're going to go back to the screen and we'll uh, share the screen right now. And we'll play the, the video so we have the timer going. We're going to go four, crisscross over, four, crisscross under. We're gonna go one up, one down to the right, two times, one up, down to the right, two times. Are you guys ready? We'll start. Okay, ready? Imagine like the monster mash is playing. Ready? One, two, three, go. We're gonna go um, crisscross over. One, two, three, four, and under. One, two, three, Four, one up, one down to the right. One, two, three, four. Go again. One, two, three, four, and to the left. One, two, three, four, and one, <laughs> two, three, four. Now it's freestyle. Freestyle. All right. Good job, you guys. Just imagine like there's some music playing. <laughs> All right, good job. Chris, are you able to share the screen again? I need it, I have a mustache too. Oh, I like your mustache. Hey everyone, make your crazy scary face. Oh, here we go. Co Coach Chris is sharing the screen again and I have a check for understanding. All right, so we've made it to the pumpkin patch and I have a question for you. Which picture, ooh, go back. There we go. Which picture represents staying within your personal space? You remember we, at the beginning, we visualized our own personal space. So which picture, number one or number two shows staying within your personal space, not bumping or um, crowding somebody else. Number one, right? Harry. Lots of number ones. Two. Number one, the guy in number two, he looks like he's getting surrounded by a lot of people and his bubble is definitely getting bursted. But these guys over here, they're all staying within their personal space. Good job, you guys. Okay, everyone, great job. Let's let's go ahead and do some cool down stretching, some autumn themed cool down stretching. So everybody, let's start with taking a nice deep breath in. Breathe out nice and slow for three seconds. One, two, three, and we're gonna come to our first pose. Cecilia, we're practicing tree pose right now. This is our tree pose. So let's think in the autumn, trees have a lot of wind blown at them. 
and their leaves fall off, but they still stand nice and strong. So let's stand like a nice strong tree. If you're seated, put your hands together, deep breath in, one, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in again, one, two, three, four, five. Can I count? Out, two, three. Count in your head, Zach. Four, five. Nice tree pose, everyone. Here's our next pose. Remember that black cat that we saw in the haunted house? Just like a black cat gets into a strong position to lunge forward, you're gonna find yourself in that position. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings and your back and get in that nice strong position. If you're seated, make a really straight line of your spine. Nice job. In two, three, four, five. Stretch in our back Out. right now. Two, three, four, nice five. Nice job, Kendra. Good job. Akiko. In two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Nice black cat pose, everyone. What do we love in the autumn? We love pumpkins. So let's start stretching our backs out here. Let's round our back. Round our back, just like the top of a pumpkin. Ooh, I want to see some good pumpkins. Where are those pumpkins? Let me see the pumpkin shape. I need a nice pumpkin. Nice pumpkin, Jose. And breathe it in. Two, three, Morgan, can you give four, me a pumpkin five. shape? Kendra's got a nice pumpkin. Akiko's Out. got a nice pumpkin. Two, three, four, five. Cecilia. Nice pumpkin poses, everyone. And here's our pumpkin two pose. Okay, pumpkin. So two for pose. this, we're gonna stretch. We're gonna continue to stretch our back, but we're gonna stretch it the other way. This time, you want to think about getting such a nice round spine that you can balance a pumpkin on your back. There we go. Zach, can I see a nice pumpkin pose? Show me that pumpkin pose, nice. Imagine like there's a pumpkin resting on your back right now. And let's do one more breathing cycle in. Two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Last chance to stretch out as a team. Let's think about Acorns fall off the tree, They're, they fall to the ground. Get as close to the ground as you can. Curl your body up. I like Cecilia's pumpkin. Acorn. Ooh, let's see, let's see Cecilia's a, acorn. Aikiko's got a nice acorn shape going. Sierra's got a nice acorn shape going. Zach, let's see your acorn. Nice, Carlos, Carlos has got a nice acorn shape going. Brittany's got a nice acorn. Jose. Last chance as a team to breathe. Let's all breathe on the same count. In one, two, three, four, five. Out. One, two, three, four, five. Great acorn poses, everyone. Before we get out of here, let's do a little check-in. Remember, when we did our pumpkin poses, what were we stretching? Were we stretching our back muscles or our foot muscles? One for back muscles. Or butt muscles. Two, two for foot muscles. I don't think butt muscles were one of the choices. One. Two. One. One. Back or foot? Back. Okay. Yep, we were stretching our back muscles. Remember we checked in at the beginning of class to see how we were feeling? Now that we've had a chance to exercise and get some energy, how are we feeling? Show me with a thumbs up if you're happy, a thumbs up sideways if you're still just kind of okay. 
or a thumbs down. I want to talk to you after class and see what's bugging you. If you're feeling down, show me a thumbs down. All right. We seeing some thumbs up. That's great. Awesome. All come. right, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. We'll see you next time. All right. Nicely done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Quinn, how about some of that personal space? Thank you. <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right thanks all for joining us here this week uh next week our ape cohort will be back on tuesday thursdays at 3 45 and as always you can join us wednesdays at one with our intro to ape students thanks all for joining us till next time